Hey guys, and welcome back to more Shin Megami Tensei 5. Last time, we crushed Abdiel and Dazai here at the throne steps. And all that's left to do now is take on the last pair that entered the Empyrean. I think we all know who's up next. Before we get to that, though, I would like the opportunity to just showcase our previous felled foes design just for a little bit. Abdiel is... As good of an adversary as I think we're ever going to get in this series, there's a lot to her just character and how it changes across the story. She's almost like a protagonist in her own way, but I don't think we viewed the last line of her lore, so I'd like to do so now. And man, what a complicated model, but in a good way. If you actually spin it around, though, you'll notice that, yeah, she has a tail the whole time, and you do some quick math, uh, yeah, she has six teats around her body. I guess this is the demon designer's depiction of Satan? That is the number of the beast, after all. Or maybe they just wanted to add some really creepy tendrils to their bull or ox god. I'm gonna tell you, all I can tell you is that, yeah, she's out of the picture now. And all that's left is to take on one more Nahobino. And then we'll be home free. So, this is our party. We're still running with the same group. Let's get to it. For most of the game now, Koshimizu or Tsukiyomi's just, I guess, true to form, been sitting on the sidelines. We barely know anything about him other than he wants to restore the Amatsu Kami. But that makes it kind of a challenging fight because we don't really know what to expect. But we have to do this. There's no other way. So let's go. So, you've come. This is the Hall of Creation, resting place of the throne. Now, as to who will claim it, frankly, it matters not to me. I thought I might find you here. I expected as much from the one who wields my brother's power. But if our goals do not align, there can be no reconciliation, not even with you. Come. 
Here we go. It's time to fight our own brother, Tsukiyomi! The Lord of the Night. And God, I love this battle theme. It gets me pumped. Tsukiyomi, being the heavenly god of the moon, has access to ice, light, and physical attacks. On top of this, just like Abdiel, he has a skill that can pierce all affinities. So even though Finn McCool can tank his normal ice skills, that will pierce. And yeah, if he uses ice, chances are he's weak to fire. So, we can bank on Finn McCool granting us a ton of free press turns. But additionally, he has another gimmick. As he completely whiffs his first turn, I'm cool with that. Tsukiyomi has an absurdly high agility stat, meaning many of your attacks may flat out miss. This is why we have Critical Aura and Critical Gems by our side to ensure that all of our charged moves definitely connect. And he's kind of hoping to do a little bit more damage there, but that's fine. We, uh, do need to heal a little bit after that Mabufu Baryon, and yes, all of his skills, except for one, do hit for severe damage, but hey, we're doing the same, so that's alright. Outside of that, he's honestly a pretty straightforward boss fight. Having only one press turn by his side, as long as you have the proper demons, you really can pile up the damage before he has a way to counterattack. However, I, uh, I hope we have the right demons. I will be 100% frank, uh, Finn's level not being the highest might kind of bite us in the butt, but let's just hope it doesn't come to that. Even if he's not pumping out huge damage numbers, though, just being able to block ice skills really does help out, but here we go! Yabusame shot! When he uses this skill, if every hit connects, he will start to either use false replication or true replication, duplicating him in the process. On top of this, your debuffs are nullified, meaning you should prioritize just using Luster Candy whenever you can. This is a tricky scenario because there's no way to ensure- Oh, we got him first try. That's really good. There's no gimmick here. They are identical, and hopefully you memorize which one is which. I will be using- That's kind of a waste, honestly. They don't stick around that much, but once you've discovered the true Tsukiyomi, just keep piling on the damage, and eventually the replication will fade once he understands that his tricks are no longer going to... We're going to get a lot of damage this turn. It's a good thing I found the right one, but yes, if you do hit the false Tsukiyomi, you will lose two press turns, and yeah, uh, depending on your team comp, that's not ideal. You can get more than just two clones, though, as I, yeah, need to probably pop this preemptively. I... Oh, yeah, we're getting our Magatsuhi turn really fast. Oh, my God. We'll get next turn. The replica will disappear, and now here comes true replication. Once he uses this... Three? He's using... Okay. This is bad. Uh, so all of these Tsukiyomi are identical, and depending on how you damage them in this situation, the HP will feed back into the main body. This is... I've never seen this pattern, actually. I'm not exactly sure how to commentate this, but hey, I'll try my best. The... Uh, well, I mean, we can go for any of them. It doesn't really matter. Do they all take the same amount of damage? I think so. Uh, okay. Well, either way, uh, if you had Mara Maragi Baryon, I guess you'd be doing a ton of damage here, but sadly we don't. I guess we're being a bit punished because we only have access to single target attacks. I, yeah, I don't want to go for another Murakumo. We're slowly but surely regaining our composure, but yeah, this uh, battle, true to Tsukiyomi's nature, as Koshimizu, he's very conniving, he has a lot of tricks, and I get the feeling we're about to see some of those in action. Right on cue, debilitate, that is not the end of the world, because we have so much MP on Huang Long, but uh, Yabusami shot followed by, oh, a single target, that's fine. No, that is not fine, that did almost 400 damage! What the heck? Why am I not dodging these? Th uh, I died? You're kidding. I can see oh, here's the Hamabari. Yo, I, I get it! Oh, thank God he dodged. Okay. We still do have our goat, but I really don't want to lose that. The clones will disappear after one turn. All right. That was a little scary, but if we can get our buffs up and retaliate, we should still be on course. My God. I've never seen him do that. I'm a little bit scared. In all honesty... Yabusami shot is kind of a joke skill, even with... Should I? 
Oh yeah, I have critical error. What am I saying? Even with 116 agility, the Abu Semi shot can miss. And if he misses one of your four party members, guess what? He can't actually go for false replicate, which is usually what happens for me. Unfortunately, we've not been so lucky in this encounter. Things can change. So, uh, oh yeah, we've actually, we, there's no debating. We have to use Medea Rama here. Thank God I <laughs> did not go for another Luster Candy. That would have been awful. We, yeah, we can set up again. We've still yet to see his, okay, I thought it was going to be this turn. Has he got another Yabusami shot? Come on, man. Oh, I see. When Tsukiyomi's getting ready, he's charging his strongest attack. Pretty similar to Abdiel's Purgatorium. Well, Pierce, I, I cannot risk this. Our HP is not bad, but it could be worse. Finn McCool still has Enduring Soul, so I know for certain he's fine. And, yeah, if we survive, we can just counter with our Magatsuhi. Alright. No Moonlight Frost. Despite him saying there's no dodging this, you still can! Uh, I can't tell. We're all guarding. It should be reduced damage. Oh my god. That would have been 700 damage. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my god, we just barely live with 2 HP! Holy crap! Okay. Um... Yeah, that's just how deadly of a skill it is. And would you believe it? He still has one more attack for you yet to see. He's really getting a lot of use out of all I hated those skill slots, I gotta say. I gotta not accidentally guard. That would be a nightmare. Maybe the B chain would have been better, but I still have to save some of these materials for the fights ahead. I... I need the damage. Okay, hit. Thank God. I figure they're pretty much agility tied, so it wasn't that risky. And since we have the crit up, we can go for Makaluan. It's technically more damage. It should be more damage. Oh yeah, that's huge! I guess we're only plus four affinity on the fire, but yeah, we're really... Oh my gosh, yeah, we're doing so much. We did almost half of his H HP in this turn, and we're still not done! Let's get that uh, agility of his down. Maybe he'll start missing some Yabusami shots. Oh god, Odin's really running low on MP. Um, there's not a lot of chakra pots left in our stock. Uh... Hopefully this connects. God, we're doing great. Everybody's doing just fantastic. I don't think we've missed a single hit. And he hit all of those. Crap. Didn't do that much damage, though, but... Wait, my myriad slashes! And it hit?! Vince dead. God dang it. I guess he went for the weakest link. Uh... I'm not exactly sure what to do. Do I bring a demon back? Oh, no. He's completely out of MP. <sighs> dang it. We got a bead chain. There's no way around it. I didn't want to have to use that here, but desperate times. Let's uh, let's get a critical gem on. Yeah, we still have critical gems. So that's fine. Get that on Odin. I'm not gonna get my Magatsuhi turned back in time. How is he so deadly with just one pro? Yes, yes, we finally dodged one. I think we got it. That's the win we've been hoping for. This Merc oh, didn't do enough. Dang it. Okay, what do we do? Do we get MP on Odin? And our buffs are going away this turn. God, this sucks. This is what happens when you're... Oh my god, no, we can finish him! Do we... Oh, what if the Marakuma doesn't crit? I can't rest that. We have to critical... We have to critical aura. Was that a mistake? I don't know. God, I'm freaking out. Um... Hit him, hit him again, Odin! Please crit! No, he didn't get it. Crud. Oh, what's he gonna do now? He didn't dodge. Okay. Stupid Yabus. Oh. You're joking. No. No! What the heck?! I have to guess right. There's a 1 in 4 ch- Oh my god. What do I do? Overall, only 1 MP. If I guess right, this is a big gamble. If we fail... Uh, let's hope for the best. This is the real one. We've beaten Tsukiyomi. No! God dang it! All right, in that case, <sighs> gotta chip. We gotta take. We gotta use the soma. Do I use this on Huang Long or the main character? I think we got. If we can survive one turn, and Huang Long can get buffs up again, we can win. But are they all going to attack? Crap! Oh no, they disappear. Okay. What? You literally can't even use that move. He only has eight skill slots. What the? Okay, whatever. That's not how I expected this fight to go down, but 
if we can just finish him this turn. No, but he healed. Crud. In that situation. Uh, what's smarter? No, we need the debuff. We can buy our time. We have the Boom Boost EX. As long as he doesn't go for false replication again. He's going to do it. You're kidding me. No, oh, come on. There it is. Somehow he hit almost every Yabusame shot. I cannot believe that. If we get two more Akumos off this turn. Okay, let's debilitate for max damage. Get his defense down all the way. Then we skip Odin. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is fine. This should be enough. If there's more Akumo, that's just 3,000. I think we'll just be short. I'll heal for security. Um, we can't kill him this turn. What the heck? I've never struggled this hard before. Oh, here comes the Crescent Slash. If we can... Here comes the Moonlight Frost. If we can survive this, which we should. Who are you dodging? And yeah, we live just barely. Our counterattack should be enough to finish him off this turn. It sure is. I... Do I need a... No, we don't need to get rid of our demons. That's just being reckless. Let's just finish him off. God. I gotta admit, though. It was pretty fun while it lasted. I... <laughs> I still could miss, though, so we should be careful. We don't have the guaranteed hit with our Magatsuhi turn, but I think that'll just about do it. The Nahobino who will take the throne has been determined. Thus, I shall fulfill my role. For ages I have watched over this world. But at last I can administer my true duty. Now, take the throne. Become its new ruler. to rule this world. You truly wish the throne destroyed? With such great power at your disposal, there is surely another way to achieve your goal. I ask that you carefully consider your decision.
This marks the birth of a new creator, a new world in his image. My true name is Amitabha. I exist to serve as the light of creation. Now let your will be done. By the power of the throne, may your ideal world be revealed. Young man, this is farewell. Artificial though I may be, I am still a demon. As such, I shall disappear with the rest. I am proud to have made this journey with you. Truly I am. Hold it. Won't you listen to what I have to say? As new ruler, you have chosen to eradicate all traces of gods and demons from the very fabric of existence. However, humankind is fated to give rise to demons. Your vision cannot hope to last, no matter what you do. And yet, there is a way to accomplish this. Do you wish to know what that is? You will find me in the realm beyond the Earth and Heavens. Best come prepared. Even with Abdiel and Tsukiyomi gone, there's still one more threat to our ideal world. Beyond the realm of heaven and earth awaits our final foe, Lucifer. And, yeah, make sure you're ready, because it's one heck of a battle. Thank you all for watching this episode of Shimagami Tensei Five. Everything we've been working towards leads up to this. We've come so far, but if even the previous creator was destroyed by Lucifer, we have to put him down to ensure our future world does not meet a similar fate to the past one. Thank you once again for joining me next time on Shimagami Tensei Five: The Nahobino versus the Prince of Darkness. See you guys then. Bye.